evening in f -type Nation, and welcome to another episode of The Love Shack. I'm your host, Big Al, the Doctor of Love. And I'm your co-host, Charmer Charles, and this is... Michael the Roman. The Love Shack Secret Weapon in a Tug of War Contest. That's remember? right. Yes, sir. That's our buddy. <laughs> My music doctor right and here. And also on the phone, talk to us about his last man standing match, none other than uh, my son, the Canadian kid. Hey, kid. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right. You want to say hi to Michael? Big Mike's hey, here. How you doing? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Doing good. That's good. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, Charles? Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, now we're going. What we're going to do? We're going to talk about slamming in September, and uh, it happens this Saturday, which should be a few days away from the time this airs. Just a few days away, September twenty eighth, this Saturday night, bell time seven thirty at the Metro Sports Center, fifty eight twenty Metro Drive here in Evansville, Indiana. Like I said, we're going to mention the prices also. Tickets, ringside tickets are $10, general admission are $8, children 5 to 12 and senior citizens are $5, kids 4 and under and active military are free. And we also want to thank our sponsors, which is Evansville Tire, Greeks Family Pizzeria, Copy. Yeah, Jan's Fashion and Costumes, Love Ray, <laughs> Rave Entertainment, and TJ Scrap Dealer. Thank you very much for being our sponsors, and again, like I said, this Saturday night, it all happens. I'll tell you what, Charles, I'll go ahead and let you start with uh, Big Mike here, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to Anthony. Anthony, you still on the phone, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Charles, I'll tell you what, if you got anything you want to say, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to talk to Mike. Uh, Mike, we, we've got this, we've had this thing going on for a, <clears throat> for, excuse me, for a couple months now with the coalition. Oh, yeah. And getting involved in everything and anything. Yeah. Now you got Johnny Richards and Tracy Smothers going against Dangerous Doug. And the dancing man himself, Brian Christopher. What do you think is going to happen Saturday night? Well, if it's two on two, I which I doubt will happen, it'll be a great match. It will be, but like I said, that coalition, you never know. I mean, I don't understand it. They will stick their nose into anything. And it's oh, just, yeah. Last month, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it was ridiculous. No, Al, John, Al found that out. Yeah, yeah. I was just... Royal. I felt I felt like a guy who had all kinds of hardware. I was screwed royally. But I'm going to tell you, you know, like I said, Tracy Smothers, he's a top-notch competitor. He's been he's around. Tough. He's a wily vet. Yeah, Johnny Richards, he's as crazy in that house rat. You know yeah. that. And then on the other side, you've got Dangerous Doug who won't back down from nothing. We saw that when that mysterious guy jumped up there the other night. Oh, yeah. And also, you got your buddy right there, Brian Christopher, you know, He's a second generation wrestler. Great we all know who his dad is, and he ain't going to play no games. So it's going to be an interesting match for sure. And then the match that I'm really waiting for that night, you know which one that is, Mike, by any chance? Now, there's a lot of great ones there, so <laughs> I don't know. What do you think the Charmer one's really wanting to see? The girls. You got it. <laughs> you got it. I sure don't want to see the guys. I don't blame you. Uh, but all. anyway, we got. Uh, Lady Vendetta, my buddy, and Miss Ray, or excuse me, Lady Vendetta and Miss Ray are going against Chloe and Miss Dark Shadow. Yeah, yeah. This I'm wanting to see what Miss Dark Shadow is all about. I think it's a coalition move. You think so? Well, you know, so what happened? Well, she yeah. snuck in the last time, and Sneezy was getting beaten, and all of a sudden, yeah, his dark shadows comes in. Yeah, Lady V had to deal with three people, and you yeah. know, at well, the start yeah, of the match, every, every, almost every match was 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 a screw job. I mean, they they, you know, no, there wasn't no fair fairness at all. That that night was totally messed up. Well, I understand revolution rule, but that I mean that that gone, dude. Yeah, everything was thrown out, you know. Yeah. And speaking of Royal Screw, like I said, our match here. And a Canadian kid, everybody's seen that he had Chris Norte pinned. He had him pinned. Oh, Wait, yeah. you know, it, we 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 should have got the victory, but uh, of course, you know, when you got the yeah, yeah when you got the so-called god of wrestling, Rich, Rich stuck his nose in somebody else's business like he always does. That's right. That's right. It's okay, because once it gets down to the point where we meet face to face, it's not a matter of who screws who or who pins who. It's just gonna be an all-out fight. That's right, because uh, you, you and Chris Norte, of course, you know he's part of the coalition, so let me be out there, and I, you know, I'm going to be out there too. Uh, I can't, might not be able to do as much as I did before because I'm not the general manager anymore, but I can still, I can still be a pain, a thorn in their side, like a, like a, 
Boy, Chad Stones is a great yeah. commissioner, whatever he's calling us. Uh, uh, big show, big show, everybody. It, it doesn't take much to scare them off. Yeah, Big went out there and destroyed two out of the four members. But it's okay because we will finish destroying the last two. There you go. So, I'll tell you what, kid. You're... You got something you want to say about your match and about Chris Norte before we let you go so we can finish this off. So I'll tell you what, go ahead and uh, give, send him a message. I'm sure he's going to listen to this. Mr. Norte, last match we had, you had your little buddy decide to run in and screw us over off my father, his job. And I sit here, my blood gets spilled. But we're still saying now this last man standing match, there is no pain, or there is no pinfall, there is no submission. It comes down to who can lay who out first. So I'll tell you now, I've taken a lot of boat whooping. I, I've, been, I've been broken half by Pondo. I've been in a lot of matches with a lot of big guys. You're not much bigger than I am. All I have to say is you better hope that you can become the big man. Cause it's not. At the end of it, I will be standing over you, and you will be looking up at me as long as the ceiling. There you go. Uh, Charles, Mike, you got anything to say to uh, the kid before we let him go? Well, go ahead. Like I said before, you know, you know, he's got he's got to watch out. They call you know, that's that's the thing about it. You know, yeah. you, you got he's got to have eyes in the back of his head, and then some. <clears throat> so, you know, he might be fighting one guy. He might be fighting three or four. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid. That's, how, that's how the coalition works. Especially when their general manager no telling what the kind of rules they're going to bend or break or say or do, whatever. You, we don't know until we get there, but we will find out on September 20th, this coming Saturday. So, kid, we want to thank you for being here. Like I said, I'll, I'll be out there in your corner. Don't worry. I mean, well, I won't say don't worry. Cause I'm not much, but, uh, you're not 100% worried. I got Dennis' designation behind me, so I think I'll actually be okay. You know, they'll be the eyes in the, they'll be the eyes in the back of my head. When it all comes down to all it's going to come down to is me hitting a shooting star, and that's going to end it. I hope. I'm hoping. I'm sure the fan, you know, the fans are behind you, the NFL Nation behind you. I know Mike's behind you. Yep. So I tell you what, uh, we're going to let you go. But we want to, like I said, uh, I'll, I'll see you soon. To hope NFW see you soon, and uh, we hope that uh, you put his butt down and he don't get up, and you're the one who walks out to victory. Thank you, and I enjoy you having me on the on the left, Jack Pops. All right, you take care. Tell, milk, tell, milk, tell Milkshake we said hey. <laughs> yeah, shake your milk. He's ready. He's down. He's ready for a fight, too. There you go. All right. We, we'll see you Saturday. All right. We'll All see right. you guys later. All right. All right. That Canadian kid talking about he's he's fit to be tied about with Chris Norte. He's guaranteed he's, guaranteed he's going to hurt him, and I hope he does. I hope he does. Well, it's like Mike said, yeah, you, but you might have six or seven out there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's something. So Let uh, me ask you something. Look over here at my house. Yeah. the hell's going to happen if old Chucky D barricades that door? They can't let them hills get out. Hey, we could put Mike in front of it. That's what I'm saying. Him. He beat him in tug of war, so I'm we get him. Mike up there, <laughs> block that door. They can't just almost make it out. Uh -huh. Oh shoot! You uh, got some pepper spray. You can start pepper spray. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I mean, I am uh, sick. Oh yeah. After this is how sick I am of it. I am sick of it. <laughs> sick of it. Sick okay. out of Johnny Richard. I'm so He's sick, sick of you guys, man. He's sick. You stick your nose and everything. Let me tell you something. You think I'm joking? I ain't joking. I'm serious. I am so sick of the coalition. I am so sick of you sticking your nose and everything. Yeah, I'll put my hand in front of the camera because I'm mad. I'm real damn mad. Saturday night, he might be not 100%, but I'm 100%. Can't do much, but I will be watching. Just remember this. I'm not the nicest guy you've ever met. Oh, yeah. I'm serious, Mike. Al, I'm not joking. I'm sick of the coalition. That little puny Darren Flynn. Chad Stallings. The, 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 I, like I said, the, you know. By God, I bet I can make me a trip up to Lowe's and get me a two before. Uh, <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> oh, okay. Come on with it, man. Now, we talked about Dangerous Doug Gilbert and Grandmaster Sexy. Brian Frist are teaming up going against Stella, Tracy, some others, and Johnny. I'm the guy to wrestling Richards. And I'm, I tell you what, you got Doug oh, Gilbert and Tra uh, you got Doug oh, Gilbert nerves. and Brian Frist are on the same side. I'll tell you what, I hope they put the hurting on that team. I hope they do. 
If you don't have to deal with five other people, seven, I, eight, I know, I know, and I, I know. And uh, again, we got Cliff Compton uh, going up against Viper for the No Limits title. Uh, Viper, uh, he, he uh, Viper's a heck of a competitor. Oh yeah, yeah I've known him for a while. He's he great. Uh, he he uh, defended he's a his title last. Gentleman, but he can get tough. Mm -hmm. But he's going up against probably one of his toughest competitors in a long, long time again with Cliff Compton and. Uh, so he's 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 got a he's got a match. You know, it's gonna be yeah, a tough Compton, he, he's a he's a he's a he's a New York Street thug. Yeah. I mean, he'll do whatever. He's trained by Larry Sharp. I know Larry oh, Sharp. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, and that, that's that monster factor mentality. And he he's he's a tough guy. But I'm gonna tell you what, this old Southern Kentucky boy right here, <laughs> and he'll he'll put a coon tune on yeah. you. Yeah. And you already mentioned uh, Miss Rachel. Oh, she's our buddy. I love her. I uh, like her, man. Tough. Our little teacup. And Lady Vendetta tag teaming up, which is going to be a great team right there, going mm -hmm. up against uh, Chloe and Miss Dark Shadow. And uh, I, t I hope Lady Vendetta gets her hands on Miss Dark Shadow and gives her what for. I'm really, I really am. I'm, oh, she's going to be gunning for her, buddy. I'm like you, I'm about fed up with them. And I'm I, done. Another match, it's going to be a very interesting match, is Flash Flanagan taking on LT Falk. And uh, I tell you what, I've seen him one time in action, and LT's pretty tough. And him and Flash. I tell you what, it's 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 going to be a great match. That's going to be a great oh, match. Flash is a great wrestler. LT is a second generation wrestler. Yep. Son of the legend Tony Falk. There you go, boy there Tony. Go. Mm. Have you seen LT in action? Yeah, yeah. Oh, several times. Yeah. I've done. seen him. I like him. I like him. He's pretty, he's smart too. So that's going to be a great match, and uh, that's going to be very interesting. To, a scientific match right there. Very scientific. Then again, we got uh, SOL, or actually they are called the the Wrecking Crew now. They are your NF, NFW Tag Team Champions going up against uh, John Flynn and, and Chad. I broke out of ribs stalling, so. <laughs> uh, and I tell you, I, I, I'll be rooting for the Wrecking Crew. I, I'm going to get the fans doing the wave and yeah. everything. I'm going to get them into it. And I hope they put the whipping on them two guys because they if deserve it. If it's just two guys. If, if it's, it's just, just two. You're right. You know, with, with Chad and it, being the general managers and stuff, no telling them. You know, they can make stipulations, they can change, I mean, they can do practically anything they want before the match starts, and mm -hmm. so I, I I don't know. It, He's it, about a general manager like I'm a Japanese admiral. I, I'm hoping to do something <laughs> to get that title back and back away from them, but, but thanks to uh, Johnny Guy to Rousing Richards, you know, I, it's making it hard on me. But uh, then we also talked to Kenny Kid on the last man standing match with Chris Norte, and I'll be out there in his corner, and I hope he puts the whipping on him too. Of course, I, I'm pretty sure the general manager and, and the uh, coalition will be out there around there somewhere. I'm pretty sure. I, well, we know they're, they're going to. Yeah, well, they'll oh, be yeah. there. They'll be and, uh, there. Then another match. <laughs> Mike, I'm going to let you have a comment on this. No. Tempest oh, against boy. Johnny Whiplash. I mean, uh, what the heck was he doing last show? I think everybody was trying to figure that <laughs> one out. What did he do? Want to go on the ring come out with a cape? Come out with, with a... <laughs> I don't know, what was it, Superman or... The last American Hero? Uh, so, yes, there you go, <laughs> oh, something like right. that. He's about as goofy as a football bat. You know, I don't know, he, he he's, he said he wanted to stand down, but, I mean, he already stood <laughs> stand down. down. I mean, Come on, I don't know. Hey, I'm new to the Indiana... What's y'all's uh, mental institution here? He I'm just going to what he's going to do when he goes against hospital. Tempest, because Tempest is kind of... Pete off. Well, yeah, he was. Yeah, I know Tim is a little guy, but here lately he has really been pretty good. I mean, he's I think Johnny fire. Richards is behind all this stuff. And well, we know Johnny Whiplash was part of the revolution uh, last yeah. year. A lot of chaos going on. And bump. he put the whipping on him a few times, and Johnny got tired of it. I'm thinking maybe he's thinking oh, maybe I should take the whipping and go back to him. And be, I don't know, but he got that little gimmick. You know, I'm I don't know who the heck he's trying to be, but. Uh, <laughs> He's, he's a brick shot below it, I'm thinking. They had so, a great match with the Wrecking Crew, and then all of a sudden he disappeared he just, under the ring and he just, yeah, came, he came out, out like Halloween. I, I don't know what happened there. And, you know, Tempest, he he couldn't figure it out. He was confused. He, he laid was, him he, out, though. Yeah. 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 And, uh, so that's gonna, that, that match is going to be a very interesting match. Then we got much more matches. Uh, we got, uh, we got uh, T-Bolt will be there. Hide your chicken wings. There you go. <laughs> Rough Rider Roy will be there. And Damn more. Damn old snakes. <laughs> yeah. And he's another one who's, I don't know, Bert Chavalo too, but. Uh, he's uh, about three fries short of a happy meal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but again, oh yeah, we want that. Uh, Isabel Smothers taking on oh, Maybell yeah. Smothers. 
The smothered mm. brothers. I mean, the smothered Smoth sisters. <laughs> you know what I call them, don't the you? Smothered sisters. I call them smothered, covered, and smothers. <laughs> uh, I, I tell you, I, just like I told Rich, I said watching them was like watching the little whorehouse in Texas. I mean, I don't know what was going on with their minds or what, what they, I mean. I don't think they, they knew what was going on. Which one is Isabella? That's, uh, or not, uh, the, what's the other one's name? Maybell. Maybell was the one that went, came out with Isabella, then she went back and came out with Jesse Bell, then came back and said, I'm, you know. There's a couple big ones there, I'm telling you. Oh, uh, it's, the family feud is, <laughs> More is ways worse than, than half the story. <laughs> but I said, well, up high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bob Seger, baby. Yeah, Bob Seger. <laughs> oh, Mocha Chucky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that was that was the rich lurch. He's somewhere around. I hope he don't come in here. But I don't know. Lurking as always. Yeah, lurking as always. But like I said, you know that match there, Dangerous Doug Gilbert, Grandmaster Sexy Brian Christner is making his return, going up against Tracy Smothers and World Champion Johnny Richards. Not to, him and Tracy Smothers. They got to be related. They got somehow they got to be related. Glad just to like. Mm. Sellouts. Yeah, out there, out there. Sellout smothers. Yeah. But Good. That's, that's the card, like I said, you know. Good prices, though, man. I mean, this is a heck of a show. $10 for ringside, $8 for general admission, kids 5 and 12, and senior citizens Sounds $5. Kids 4 and under in active military are free. You know, it all happens Saturday night. This coming Saturday night, September 28th, at the Metro Sports Center, again, 5820 yeah. Metro Drive. Here in Evans, Indiana, bell time is 7.30 p.m. Plus, we got some great merchandise and, whoo, thanks for sale. The concession stand and all your wrestlers will be out there selling all kinds of stuff and all kinds of action. And like I said, you're going to see a sellout. You're going to see a sexy. You're going to see the Smother Sisters. You're going to see a, uh, the ladies whooping butt. And you're going to see a last man standing match, Chris Norte. I <laughs> uh, hope he gets it. And the record defending their titles. And uh, Chris uh, Cliff Compton wanting to take the title away from the... <laughs> Our buddy Viper, you know, like I said, this, this all happens uh, this Saturday night. Uh, whew, I'm about, about winning, Charles. I know you're fed up. I'm, all fed right, up. I'm just aggravated. You know what? I'll just, seriously, man, this this wrestling god or whatever he is, he's just out of hand. <laughs> oh, I thought right. you were going to blow a fuse last time. I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm up to. And now he's I'm got going. Chloe. Now he's got Chloe's mind warped. And, <sighs> Uh, this mixed dark shadow, I'm sure she's part of them. Yeah. Oh, you know she so, is. That's okay. You, we all know what Miss Ra Miss Rachel's made out of, and Lady Vendetta. You know that's gonna be a great tag team, and, and uh, <laughs> that's our buddy. So. Yeah. Like, I think Lady Vendetta picked the right partner. She picked the perfect partner for this match. I think she did. I just so. feel sorry for poor Mom Rich, man. Oh shoot. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Again, thank you, Mom and Rich, for having a great, a great, great event. She puts on the best shows possible. Puts on the best yes, shows. she does. So. Thank you, Debbie. She, and goofball a... comes out there acting like something. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, Charles, I, I, I said all I can say. Um, I want to thank you for being here, Mike. Like I said, uh, you're, no problem. I enjoy you're, it. you're one of my favorites. Uh, we've got a lot of you know, Mike and Linda Nelson, you know, oh, and uh, Miss Jackson, she, you know, she is, it, you know, we got some great fans. Loyal fans, I tell you what, uh, it don't get any better than that. Uh, but Linda, she can be a handful, but we love her. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you can be the greatest entertainer, the best wrestler around, yeah. have the best show around, as far as entrances, rings, whatever. But if you don't have those fans, you got nothing. You don't have that's nothing. Right. Those fans make the show. When I was fans. a kid, going to wrestling, I enjoyed the fans as much as I did the wrestlers. And that's oh, the truth. Can be hilarious. Yeah, they can be hilarious. Like you said, you got Miss Linda. She she <laughs> loves this stuff, and she gets about like I got a while ago. Oh, yeah. But it's frustrating. I mean, when you're yeah. trying to do things right, and then you got Mike here. Mike loves wrestling as much as he does music, and he and I know that's a whole lot. So you know, I've been you watching got, for years. Yep. You got Mr. Roberts, Robertson, Steve, Steve and his dad. You know, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Steve and Tim. They're just yeah. people that just really love this, and that's why I get so mad at that daggone coalition. Yeah. But you know what, man? I'm a firm believer that that eventually you'll get dealt with. Oh, yeah. My daddy always said, he said, you live by the sword, you'll lie with the sword. Yeah. And he, there's a lot of truth to that. You yeah. want to be a bad, 
I watch my tongue here, but you want to be a bad boy, there'll be somebody just a little bit better. Yep. Mm -hmm. There always is. They might not even be in the NFW yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the ones right. are going to take them down. Okay, NFW Nation. Uh, again, Saturday, this coming Saturday night, just a few days away, NFW presents Slamming in September uh, at the Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro Drive here in Amazon, Indiana. Bell time at 7.30 p.m. You, you've got uh, Grandmaster Sexy coming back with the dangerous one. Brian Crestford and Doug Gilbert teaming up. You got uh, Miss Rachel coming back. You got this. You got the Smother Sisters coming back. And Cliff Compton wanting wanting that title from uh, Viper. Then you got the Red Crew uh, defending their titles. You got the Coalition. Yep. T Boat. And uh, like I said, many Rough Rider Roy, many many more this coming Saturday, Charles. So, whoo. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Good prices. Breathe out, breathe. Ten dollars <laughs> a ringside. You can't beat that. No, you can't. Always a great show. So, I mean. Uh, I'm about done, Charles. If uh, you want to spread the love, it's all yours. Yeah, I'm ready to just want to say thank you, Mike, for showing up. We appreciate yeah, thanks, you. Thanks again, Mike. You're a good guy, You're man. Buddy. You're a buddy. Whew. Just remember this now. Saturday night out there at the Metro Center, like Albert told you, Mom and Debbie, she's going to put on a great show for you. We want you to show up, have a good time, family-friendly show. But just remember this here. NFW Nation, don't fight among yourself. Leave the fight in us. All you got to do is spread the love. Night, night.